but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, the Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. You know, the, as priests prepare homilies, there's a number of publications that give you things to reflect on, and you can check them out for some seeds of, of what you can build into a homily. And each one of them this, this time, this, this, the ones I use, said the same thing. The Trinity Sunday is one of the hardest days to preach because the most holy trinity is a mystery. And theologians for 2,000 years have been wrestling with how to describe it to people. And it gets down to the real minutia of, you know, how many angels can sit on the head of a pin kind of discussion. So I think today it's important to try to bring it down in a way that doesn't necessarily answer all the questions, but at least gives us some understanding of what's going on. You know, we are fairly familiar with God the Father. We've heard about him occasionally in scriptures and occasionally in life. And this son of his, Jesus, we've heard a lot about him too. But this third person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit is one that gets left out quite a bit because we don't know what to make of that. It's a dove flying over the ceiling someplace. It's a peace symbol. Well, I was trying to think about this over the last week or two, and I'm trying to put together an understanding for myself that I could share with you that might help a little bit. And how do you explain the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives? Well, I spent the last week and a half, two weeks on vacation. It wasn't really a vacation, I spent it in a hospital. And I had needles and pins and all kinds of other paraphernalia, so now I need a two week vacation to recover from that. But in the course of that, I learned all kinds of things about this thing called our heart and the importance of it in our health. Because in our physical body, the heart pumps blood throughout the various regions of the body. And it's important because contained within that blood are little minor issues like oxygen and other nutrients that our body needs to survive. And if that fails, then all kinds of nasty things can happen. Well, think about that in terms of the spirit. The spirit is the pump that pumps life throughout our spiritual body, providing us with the strength with the nutrients, with the flame that we need to go forth, as Christ said in today's gospel, to baptize men, to add to the body of Christ. So the body grows. Without the spirit, the blood may pump, but there's no nutrients in it. There's no flame, there's no fire. So therefore, we don't have the incentive or the strength to go out from ourselves 
and proclaim the great news of the Father and the Son. It is an invaluable piece of this puzzle because our call, the call of all Christians, is to go out and build the body. We know the story. We know the words. But we need the flame to go with it, to inspire us, to guide us. Now, each of us in our own way feels the Spirit from time to time. Sometimes I wake up and I look around and I say, how did I get here? And that is the direct work of the Holy Spirit, who has an incredible sense of humor. But in our unconscious way, in our unconscious spiritual life that we just live, in order to have that passion needed to be true Christians, men of outreach, we need the Spirit pumping the nutrients and the flame through us. The Spirit is a gift of the Father. It is an ongoing gift to each one of us that builds us up so that we can build up the community of God. Without it, a significant piece of our spiritual life is missing. The Trinity is all about a community coming together, God coming together, helping us in a number of different ways. His body, the body of Christ, which is a church, is the same thing. We come together to reach out to people in all kinds of ways. But in order to do that, we need a little motivation. We need a little strength. We need a little passion. And the Holy Spirit is there as a gift to provide us with that passion that can pump through our spiritual lives and build us up. 